Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another WWE 2K22 My Rise video. And yes, yes, y'all. I'm going to check story progress. And as you can see, we got about seven stories left. Uh, and that is Shaking Up Smackdown, uh, Return to the PC, Hide and Seek, and some uh, mystery heel stories. And right now, we are about to talk to uh, Paragon J. Pierce, who just can't leave your boy alone. Man, you, you want to talk about freaking someone who, who's, like a, who's like a freaking stalker. I mean, I mean, man, it, it, it don't get any more creepier than uh, Paragon J. Pierce. But anyway. I'm sick of waiting around to get what we both know I deserve. When are you going to give me a shot at your Universal Championship? Bro, you couldn't even win the IC Championship. I'm not sure you deserve anything other than a good ass kicking. Yeah! You know I've been better than you since the day you stepped foot in the Performance Center. So what's the matter? Scared the entire world will find that out? <laughs> you serious? Um... Who is the current IC champion? Oh yeah, that's me. And uh, who is the current Universal champion? Oh yeah, that's me too. And uh, who is King of the Ring? Uh, how you say uh, moi? And uh, yeah. How many belts have you held, my guy? I'm just saying. I already proved I'm better than you when we fought over the Intercontinental Championship. Facts. But if you want to get embarrassed again, then I'll take you on at some point. At some point? I want a title match now. Yeah, and how does it feel to want things? You think you're the only one coming after my championship? You're going to have to wait your turn. Paragon J. Pierce didn't become an international sensation by waiting for anything. Return to the PC, and if we complete this, then we get a jacket that looks an awful lot like Marty McFly's jacket in Back to the Future 2. So, anyway. Bro, I gotta check community creations. I bet you someone made a Marty McFly, Marty McFly uh, call. And why did my facial hair change color again? Uh, I gotta do another, um, WTF compilation video. Hey, champ. Uh, I know you have a busy schedule, but just wanted to confirm you're still able to come down to the PC this week to work with the new guys. That was this week? Yeah. Problem? Nah, just messing with you. Uh, didn't forget. I'll be there. Happy to help out. Thanks. Since you're a recent success story, should really help motivate the new class. And Chase, too. He's still here. Wow, Chase, Chase, Chase is still chasing the dream. Gotta give him that much. Uh, like I said, happy to give back. See you soon. My boy, the Universal Champion, JV is coming back to the PC to train. Think I'll show him a thing or two I've picked up uh, since he's been gone. PC champ for life. Yeah, I don't think that's a brag, my guy. So don't ever change, Chase. Um... Ordinarily, I would agree, but I have to disagree in this case because him being where he currently is isn't getting him anywhere fast. I mean, we've been to all, all three brands. We started, we went to NXT, we went to Raw. Now we're on SmackDown, and this whole time Chase has been at the PC. So um, something has to change. Road Dog refereeing this match between me and Chase, and Chase done sidestep me, which I do not like. I find that very disrespectful. Therefore, I had to kick him in the face. Damage Chase with attacks. Ah, oh, that means we're going to lose. And get your punk ass out of my face. You need to back up, Chase. Alright. This is why you're still at the PC, man. You bitch slapping people. And you sidestep people way too much. To show that you're too afraid to take some bumps. To take some moves. That's why you're not getting anywhere, Chase. Yeah, gotta 
knock some sense into your noggins. Irish whip chased into the ropes. Come here. I knew something was going to happen. Paragon! Shinsuke! What are you doing? What the hell are you thinking? What the heck, guys? Get out of here, Shinsuke! Paragon, get out of the ring right now! Oh, oh shit, they attacking Road Dog too! Come on, stop it! That, that's enough! Oh ah. shit, they going after Sean too! Look at my, my goatee change change color again. Now it's white. What the hell, man? <laughs> Anyone else want to step up to us? Huh? That's what I thought. Man, I hope Triple I H is watching this. I wasn't going to wait for anything. So when you're able to pick yourself up off this mat, I expect to hear a next in line for a Universal Championship match. Or this will only get worse. Oh, I'm down to give you another ass whooping. I don't want to spend another second in this hellhole. Let's go. Why do people insist on poking the bear? Yeah. Waiting for your response, JV. You got what you wanted, you and me, for the universal strap. But first. I want revenge for what you did. I'll take you and Shinsuke on by myself. You weren't the only ones they took out. I'm not 100%, but I want revenge too. Make it a tag tag match and I'll be there. I want a shot at Paragon and Nakamura for what they did too. So I'll team with you. Your call. What match do you want? Hmm. Handicap. Team with Chase. Team with Shawn Michaels. Sean, if I pick you, I better be an honorary member of DX. Yeah! Paragon disrespected HBK since day one at the PC, and this only made it worse. So give me the tag with Sean. Okay, I'll make the match for SmackDown. And by the way, winner gets to choose the Universal Championship match stipulation. It's dusting off the boots. You should have stayed in Orlando, but now we're going to make you pay again. Yeah. We'll see about that. I got something for you to pay right here. I'm just saying. Look at that. Teaming up with the Heartbreak Kid. And yes, as you can see, I'm rocking a new shirt. No, it's not a real shirt. I don't know if I'm going to make that into a real shirt. Maybe. But I got the King of the Ring logo on back. So people know. Yep, the King is here. V and the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Look, they got my goatee changing color again. It's matching the uh, color of my uh, flame decal. Or my, you know, the uh, flame segment of my logo. You can knock your head off for what you did. You punk. You gonna bleed for me, bruh? Huh? You gonna bleed? I'm taking Sean. Let Sean get his revenge. Uh uh, Shinsuke, if you're gonna get up, you're gonna be dazed and confused. Come on, fool. And. Fisherman suplex, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Come on, me, get him. Damn it. I try to get Shinsuke to a freaking submission. Oh, come on. 
Sean, how can you not get him? He was right there, right in front of you. Promise you won't laugh? Yeah, I promise. I don't know how. <laughs> You're kidding! <laughs> you don't know how! <laughs> Screw you, Pierce. Come on, Sean. I hit A. Freaking left. Come on, dude. Cross face. That's right. Tap out. See, congrats on the win, JV. Now you get to choose how you'll defend your Universal Championship against Paragon. See, do we want Last Man Standing at the PC? Do we want a steel cage? Do we want a normal match with Shawn Michaels as the manager? Decisions, decisions. I think for storyline purposes, we should have Shawn in our corner. Let's do that. I know that Shinsuke will be out there trying to interfere, so I'm going to have some backup in my corner too. I was hoping to show the world I'm better than you one-on-one, -on -one, but fine, I'll do this. Good, because you didn't have a choice anyway. The match is official. <laughs> Gotta love Adam Pierce's response. <laughs> like, 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 as if you have a choice in the matter, dude. <laughs> You're having this match. Pushed him over. <laughs> the one time, um, I don't mind that animation because it actually worked to my advantage that time. Like he shit, you know what I mean? What the hell, man? Got him. You dumbass. All right, I think you gonna pay with your blood. I want your blood on my hands. There we go. That's all I wanted. Pierce don't have any morals. Just talking about he's in a demoralizing spot. He don't have any morals. If he did, he wouldn't be such an asshole. And we're going to pull him away from this corner and from the ropes. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Universal Champion, the Outlaw, Jason J. V. You couldn't beat me when we were mid card competitors, and now you sure as hell can't beat me when we're in main event spots. Yeah, always coming up short, Pierce. Freaking whine and bitch your way to the top and then he didn't get you anywhere. So return to the PC is complete. I think we got time for another. Let's check the story progress. So I don't think we want to do the shaking up SmackDown because I think that's the story you have to play for when you want to leave. And we're not ready to leave. So you know what? I got to turn my character heel. Taught my new class a an invaluable lesson out there, champ. How to put a bully in their place. Appreciate you. Hey, I appreciate you, HBK. And I better be an honorary member of DX now. I'm just saying. That would be greatly appreciated. <coughs> wow. Uh, as I was saying, that would be greatly appreciated. Yeah, and that's something to sneeze at either. He's a heel. That's right, y'all. We officially turned heal which means now we have access to more of these stories let's see what robin ray has in store for us my podcast listeners absolutely love to cheer on a villain after all morality and playing fair can be a bit stale so they would lose their minds to see you crush someone's dreams <laughs> and body in a no dq match oh boy we about to take dominic mysterio back to the woodshed 
Oh man, let's do it. Puts him on the table. What does he have in mind? We're about to and take that wood. There you go. Count it. With glitchy beard and all. So who needs dreams anyway? Story is fini. I think we got time for one more. That was just a one-off. Heard you're bad-mouthing me in the locker room saying the camera angles I shoot you from are making you look weak. Really? It's not easy being a WWE cameraman. But I'm glad not all WWE superstars are so cruel to the crew. In fact, I've got a friend who has my back and thinks my work is pretty great. It ain't easy being cheesy either, but you don't see Chester Cheeto complaining now, do you? How you gonna wrap me out, Kofi? Huh? Huh? I thought we was homies. You done did me dirty, my guy. I'm gonna make you tap. Camera don't lie. Daughters this morning. Daddy, why aren't you why aren't you champion of anything? Well, girls, guess daddy's going after the Universal Championship now. You're not beating me for the Universal Championship. So unless you want to let your girls down, maybe go after the IC or tag titles. Um, we have the IC title too, my guy. Nah, I think I'll stick to my original goal. Insult Edge back down. Guess it won't be hard for you to get a title match since your boy Scrap Daddy is always looking out for you. Hashtag who's your daddy. <laughs> Bruh. Even if Adam Pierce gives me the match, I still have to beat you, which I will. Also, you're terrible at hashtags. Hashtag terrible tagger. Hashtag hashtag. Hashtag hash trash. And you say my hashtags are bad. Um, <clears throat> okay, I guess it's harder than it looks. Yeah, no shit. Um, before you get too excited, I'm already defending my Universal Championship against Sheamus. So get in line. Ready when you are. So friends in high places. Saw your little back and forth with Edge on social media, and it gave me an idea. I think the two of you would have an amazing match. So if you can defeat Sheamus tonight, <clears throat> then your next Universal Championship defense will be against Edge. So your buddy just posts that he wants a Universal title match, and boom, he gets one. <laughs> I know you helped train Edge for his comeback, and in return, he got you the GM job, but I didn't realize that meant you had to do whatever he wanted whenever he asked. Funny, I had it all wrong. I guess he's your daddy. Ooh. Look, as far as Edge goes, it's no secret that we've helped each other out. But this has nothing to do with that. He's earned this opportunity, and like I said, I think it'd be a great match. Okay, keep telling yourself all that to justify what you're doing. If I were you, I'd focus on taking care of Seamus first, or none of this will even matter. Don't worry. I'll handle my business with Seamus, and you'll get your little dream match. Then, I'll beat your BFF too. Too slow, Seamus. Come on, you giant jar of mayonnaise. Whoa, gotta go on the rope. Let's go for this submission. <laughs> Is it me or did Shamus have some cuts on his leg?
Get out of here. Jason J. V. That's right. Yeah, we're going to play this title like a guitar, too. <laughs> I just had to do it. Come on, man. We is the heel. We got to show off. I took care of Sheamus like I said I would. And now your boy has his title match. Happy? Actually, I am. Like I said, I think it's going to be a great match and something the SmackDown audience will really enjoy. Yeah, definitely. This has nothing to do with the fact that you wouldn't have your job if it wasn't for Edge. I mean, what else would you do if he asked? You might as well just cut out the middleman and make Edge GM. He's already calling all the shots. I'll say it one more time. This is about giving the WWE Universe the best available match. Nothing else. Don't push me on this. Okay, if that's what it's all about, then why make the WWE Universe wait to see me face Edge? We should just give it to them tonight, right? Because that would be yet another totally fair and unbiased decision for you to make. You know what? Finally, I agree with you. Go get some rest, because you're going to defend your Universal title again tonight against Edge. Are you serious? I was just trying to make a point. And I just made mine. I told you not to push me on this, but you didn't listen. Now go get ready for your match. Bruh! Uh. You couldn't just leave well enough alone? You had to push the man? If we lose the Universal Championship, I blame you. Damage Edge with attack. See, look what you did, man. You done cost us a title. Damn it. Mm -mm. No, no. Wasn't feeling it. Nope. Wasn't feeling it. Right in the mouse. And now here is where we lose the title because somebody couldn't leave well enough alone. The Universal Champion and Edge are going back and forth here in this huge title match. The referee goes down. And now Edge is taken out too. The Universal Champion, no for bending the rules. Will he take advantage? There's your answer. He's competed twice tonight. He's just evening up the odds. And it's our GM, Adam Pierce. Of course, he's out here to help his friend Edge. That's the only reason Edge got this opportunity in the first place. He's just trying to restore some order to the match. Here we go. Here's where we get screwed. Told you. That was a fast count, too. I'm supposed to be the heel. I'm not so sure about that, but I will admit this victory did occur with some level of controversy. If I know our now former champion like I think I do, he's not going to sit back and accept this. I'm supposed to be the heel, but I got screwed out of the title. Hey, girls, your daddy is... Your daddy's a champion now. Goal complete. Now you can... Just be disappointed in me when we run out of donuts. Congrats, Edge. Knew you could do it. You knew he could do it because you helped him do it. Literally took the win from me, counted the pin yourself, and handed him the title. Not okay! It's clearly one on two. One on two now, but this isn't over. There will be payback. Look, I could just approach this like some kind of farewell tour. A chance to show my girls what their dad looks like with a championship around his waist. A chance to 
stroke my own ego one more time and a chance to remind all of you of a different era when this sort of thing was typical, almost expected. But I'm here to say that's exactly not what I'm going to do. I've heard all the critics, like the former champion himself, that I was handed this Universal Championship. That somehow, because of my friendship with the GM, that I got special treatment, and this was basically gifted to me. It was. So with that in mind, I'm going to do everything in my power, even if it ends up costing me this very title to prove the critics wrong. I'm going to be a fighting champion and earn everything I get. I'm going to do that by issuing an open challenge to anyone in that locker room to face me for this championship. And the open challenge begins right now. Well, you owe me a rematch, smart me. guy. Come on, let's see what this locker room is made of. What's going on here? That's what's going on. The former Universal Champion appears to have cut to the front of the line. <laughs> Not what you were expecting, huh, Edge? Well, I wasn't expecting to lose my Universal Championship after your BFF here conspired to have me compete twice in one night, interfered in the match, and then pretended to be a referee and illegally counted the pin, basically handing you the title himself. But special treatment is the only kind of treatment you've received since you came back to WWE, isn't it? I don't know what you're doing, but leave Adam out of this. Man, even no. Edge is recording on a get to fucking now. fucked up mic. This is my time. Like I was saying, the special treatment started when you just waltzed into the Royal Rumble after being gone for eight years. No qualifying match needed. Then there were the WrestleMania matches, the WWE Network specials, all the TV time you took from superstars like myself. But worst of all, you were so insecure that you couldn't hang with today's generation that you had Adam Pierce hired as GM to give you the easiest possible path to success. And it worked! What do you want? I want to put an end to all of this. And I want my title back. So give me a rematch on my terms. Or I'll take out your buddy here. Well, worse than I already have. Fine. I'll take you on whenever and however you want. Just let him go. Smart decision. Now run back to your BFF. At least it looks like this is over with for now. I also want Edge to not sound like Sami Zayn when he speaks, you know what I mean? That just showed you exactly the type of person that can sound like freaking drive through window fast food workers. I'm just saying. Appreciate all the well wishes, but I'm going to be fine thanks to Edge. Now, go give JV a beating like he's never had before. Oh, no, 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 no. See, I whipped your ass because you helped screw me out of the title, so therefore you deserve it. And now I'm about to give Edge the ass whipping of a lifetime that he deserves. And the match I want to do it in... Hmm. Hmm. Extreme Rules TLC Last Man Standing. I think a TLC would be appropriate, mm, but I can also put it through a table in the Extreme Rules. Introducing the challenger from San Jose, California, weighing in at 267 pounds, the outlaw, Jason J. V. I'm the heel, but I'm being cheered like I'm a baby face. Let's go. The champion from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds. He is the WWE Universal Champion, the Rated R Superstar, Edge. This title represents the very top of the mountain here in WWE. This Universal Championship is what all superstars dream of.
Brought to my arms, huh? I don't think so. Punk ass up. And just like that, he said, crashing to the floor. Let's see, can we pull out a table? We sure can. See, my pupils, they want table. Go. See what other goodies are in here? How about a bat? And now he may be planning to turn this match into his out the park. I don't think so, Edge. Dude. Oh, look at him run. Mr. Rated R. Mr. Fighting Champion. Running like a biznatch. Oh, on the table. Oh, it's lying upside down. That's out of my ring, twitchy leg. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? It's extreme rules, you extreme tool. Get your ass up. Because you are going through the announce table. Look at this now, draping his opponent over the announce desk. Now, we're going to set up this other table. Dress up. Away. <laughs> Dunskis. Give my belt. Two-time Universal Champion, two-time JV, two belts. Let's go. Nice try, Edge Viss, but it just wasn't your night. See, how was Edge the babyface when he's proven he does not deserve the title? He couldn't win it on his own. You know what I mean? He had help. You know what I'm saying? From his buddy. Anyway, friends in high places, complete. And I think this will be a good place to stop this video. So with all that being said, yo, really hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe. If you're feeling the vibes, you're digging what I'm doing over here, don't forget to have your bell notification set to all so you never miss an upload. Don't forget, of course, to check out, of course, all the other links in the video description down below. That would be greatly appreciated. And uh, y'all know the deal. Till the next one, y'all have a blessed one. Peace.